Yo, what's going on guys? We are back, episode 2 of my GM series, and uh, Merry Christmas to you all, because this video will be out in Christmas. I was going to get a hut episode for you guys out, except I haven't really been playing NHL, I've been extremely busy, and I'm still sick right now. And the pack I thought I was going to get is still not out yet, but this video is being recorded at around midnight, but it's basically Christmas. But yeah, so what we're going to bring to you in episode 2 is I'm going to simulate maybe 20 games, or maybe half a season. Probably, uh, hopefully we can get the team going. I mean, honestly, this team looks pretty good, but uh, I think we need that second line center. I mean, defense, we look pretty good. We got we got the mix going on there. I mean, goalie, I don't really think goalie's holding us back. thought we were doing pretty good, but I don't know. I mean, preseason, as you could see, we did a whopping 0-3-1. Pretty stellar. But, yeah. Another thing I want to ask you guys, um, if you guys want to leave in the comments, I know this is a, you know, yeah, I know this is kind of a random, like, this is a random topic, but uh, if you guys want to leave what you got for Christmas or what you want to get for Christmas or something like that, you could do that, so I hear your guys' opinions and stuff like that. And one thing, what I would want from you guys is, I mean, I know that I might have some, like, haters or whatever you want to call them, but... I've noticed on some of my recent videos, I don't know if it's just because my audio is delayed, but like my recent like three videos, I got four dislikes on each one of them, and no offense, like I'm not trying to be cocky or anything, but I don't think I deserve that because I've been uploading about a video a day to two videos a day, I feel like I'm pretty nice, and I feel like tr I'm trying to make my videos much better, I mean even my first commentary, which was terrible, I had a terrible mic, I kept saying um, and... I don't know, that wasn't really entertaining at all. That only got like three dislikes, so I don't really know why I got four or five, but I don't know, maybe it's not because the audio, audio is delayed, that's what I'm just guessing. And if that's from the audio being delayed, I mean, I don't know, people did comment and they got like a lot of thumbs up. Like this one guy, I don't remember his name, but he said like, are you guys serious you dislike this video just because the audio is delayed and you got like seven or eight thumbs up? But yeah, I just, if you guys want to dislike a video of mine or anyone's, please, I honestly, I've talked to everyone in the community and they think it's really annoying when someone dislikes a video, please leave, like, why you're disliking the video. And if you're just disliking because you don't like the person, just don't watch us then, honestly. It's really annoying because we put so much time and effort into our videos. But yeah, well, this is a GM, not, I'm not ranting like that. So here we go. We're going to go, I'm just going to go with the same lines we have because I feel like we have good lineups, so we're going to simulate... 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We're going to simulate to the Los Angeles Kings. I'm hoping we can go pretty positive, but I'm not sure. I mean, our team is pretty good. First game, we start out with a 4-1 loss, but Kovalchuk did score. <clears throat> Come on, Brodor. You could do it. Game 2, Islanders. Let's see. Another loss. Kovalchuk scored again, though, but still... If he keeps scoring and we keep losing, it's not really very good. No one is plus on our team. Come on, game three. Can we... Uh, another loss. I'm gonna... If we lose again next game, I'm stopping. We're gonna make some trades. Ah, uh, this is... This is the only reason why this is annoying. Simulation in this game is just so uh -huh. slow. Oh, sorry about that, guys. But yeah, the simulation in this game is just so slow. Against the Rangers, they're really good. I don't know what's going on. Okay, yeah, sorry about that. I just had to mute my thing. Something really random is going on. But yeah, another loss, and I couldn't even pay attention. Let's see, do we go? We got a win. And our second line center, who I don't think belonged on our team, actually scored. Oh, he's the leading goal scorer. Oh, we got another win. There you go, but Briere is out for five weeks, so that's that's a minus, I guess you could say. People are actually positive on our team. Zilicki's a plus three. Uh, if we could win against the Canucks, you know, we gotta win against the Canucks. Havlat with five goals, that's... Oh yeah, he is our, no, I don't think he's our first line. Nash is our first line right winger. Havlat's our second line right winger. So Havlat's uh, producing. Five one and one Winnipeg Jets. Ooh, four game winning streak. So we started out zero and four, and then now we're four and zero on our last four. Our team's all over the place. I can tell you that. 
But as looking at our team, we are letting in a lot of goals. We are scoring a lot, but we are letting in a lot. I'm not even, like, I don't know the stats or anything of, like, the goalies, little Brodeur, but I'm going to say it's Brodeur. I don't see our defense being that bad, letting in four to five goals a game. Well, there's a good win. But, yeah, hopefully you guys have a Merry Christmas, or if you're, if you don't celebrate Christmas, have Happy Holidays, because this is the time of year to be thankful, even though that's Thanksgiving, but thankful for what you got and stuff like that, and I mean... You might be like, oh, I didn't get this or that, but you should be thankful that you could, like, play Xbox and stuff. People don't have uh, Xbox Live. People don't even have, like, heat and uh, fresh water in some places. I know a lot of people probably say that, but you probably, like, you actually should be thankful for that. And if you could play NHL, I mean, for me, it's a lot of the time it's really annoying. And sometimes I'm like, oh, my God. But I'm thankful for I could play it. I'm in a pretty nice house, and I could uh, I have a lot of stuff I could do and stuff like that. And I could bring you guys videos. I have internet connection. I have a phone, and all that stuff like that. So yeah, I'm thankful for that. The only thing I'm not thankful for is my uh, sickness, and I don't mean like a disease. I mean like I'm actually sick. It's pretty annoying. But our record, uh, to be honest, it's not that good considering I thought my team was pretty good. But I mean, look at these goalies. Price with 1.51, 1.65, 1.69, 1.89, 1.9. so good, the top eight. Um, no, we're, we're, oh yeah, we are at number five, tied for five. Ooh, Detroit has Eberle and Malkin up there. Datsuk and Hosa. Backstrom and Ovechkin. Kane and Erickson. So there's only five. There's only four uh, teams for the top points because two uh, people on each team. So there's a lot of one-two punches going on there. Uh, we goals. I think we yeah we were five. Well, we're tied for fifth with Havlat. So that's good Havlat. Assists were almost there. I mean we're basically in the oh nice job Devils complete last. But I mean we're almost there. A win would bring us to sixth. So I'm going to look at some of our stats. You know what? I want to keep these videos about 15 minutes, so we still got time. I'm going to look at some of our stats real quick. Okay, so center-wise, uh, Ribeiro, 12 points. I mean, Spezza should have more. Uh, you know what? No, that's good enough. I mean, almost a point per game player. Pretty good. Ribeiro, he's doing really good as second-line center. Eliash, uh, he could do probably a little better considering Carter's fourth line. He's got like basically the same points. Uh, left wing, Kovalchuk, there, that's good. Point per game. Uh, Cole, that we might have to get rid of him. I mean, two points in 14 games, the second line, left winger. And he doesn't even have a goal. He's got a lot of penalty minutes. I mean, at least he's positive. He's a plus player. That's good, I guess. Oh, come on, Bizonet. I mean, he's got the same as Cole, and he's fourth line player, so, I mean, I think we're going to have to get rid of Cole. i got to remember that. Nash, that's good. Havlat, that's really good. Bernier, that's okay. Briere, he only played three games, but he has zero points. He only has two shots, so Briere and Cole, we have to remember them. Defenseman, Campbell, he is an offensive defenseman, and he has only one point. Campbell, Cole, and uh, Briere. Okay, so yeah, honestly, that's not even that bad. I mean, it's not that good, but a Brewers only an 82 overall, and he's got almost a 92 save percentage. Goals against average, yeah, that's not really good at all. But still, I mean, it's not terrible. He doesn't have a shutout. But you know what? We're gonna do a trade here because our team is—it's not where I want to be. I don't want them to be. I don't think they are. Right. We don't need more rookies. I mean, we have a bunch in the minors. I think we have... Oh, oh we have Zidlicki on our... Ah, uh, oh, yeah, our team's a little messed up there. We've got Zidlicki on our offense. On our forwards, I mean. So, yeah, we. I think we need a little change up there. I think it's because Briere still hurt, but still. We don't have a single other forward to replace him. Okay, so let's see. No one, okay, left wing Cole. He's, I'd say that's pretty good. Okay, who wants him? Okay, Minnesota. Anyone, Patch Reddy would be nice, but I mean, 
The second line, boom. No, none of them are second line worthy. Defense. Ooh, Yandel would be nice. Is he not, as long as he's not offensive defenseman. Oh, man, he's offensive defenseman. You know what? We're going to go for Hedman. Hopefully this would work. I don't know. We're going to try Campbell and Cole for Hedman. Does it go through? Ah, uh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Um, sweeten the deal just a touch. So for me, that basically means... Sweeten the deal just a touch, so that's not anything. But to them, I mean a third and a fourth, does that sound good to you guys? No. A third and a second? No. A first, that's it. Just a first. This better work? No. Uh, first and a fifth? Nope. First and a third? Nope. First and a second, I'm out? Nope. They don't want to do it, I'm out. Okay, ooh, Ottawa wants both as well. They got a pretty good defenseman that... Mm, Ah, uh, talk about bad defensemen. Anyone else want... Oh, okay, good, Pittsburgh. That's Okay, here we go. Cronwall would be really nice. I uh, don't know if this would go through. I mean, Cronwall isn't the best of players, but uh, let's try. Okay, so that's not going to work, but... You know what? We'll give up one of our rookies as well. So... Uh, let's go to Rookie Skaters. Okay, what don't we really need? So, defense, there's four. Right wing, we don't need another right wing. Sorry, this guy, uh, Coil, or Cole, or whatever you say. But, I mean, I don't really think we need him that much. I mean, Cronwell isn't the youngest, but, I mean, he's not like 36, 37. And Campbell, honestly, he's hurting our team. And Cole's basically hurting our team as well by only getting two points. So, I mean... I think this will work. Wait, um, yeah, I think this will work out. I don't know if it's gonna going to. We'll try to see if they could maybe give us another left winger. Semin would be great. Does this go through? Sweeten the deal. We'll throw in a first because this would be actually really good if we can get Semin. He's not really worth anything. And a second. That's my last offer. Come on. Ah. So how about... How about, uh, Campbell, Cam, uh, take away Cronwall, Campbell, I just don't think they want to take on Campbell's salary cap, but we did the deal. We got Semin, I mean, maybe not the best of, uh, whatever you call it, but we got rid of Campbell, so I'm happy with that. So I think, instead of going after Cronwall, we're going to go after Goligoski. Okay, let's see if maybe we can get a second back. Second we just gave him back. No. Third back. There we go. So we got rid of Cole. We got Semin to replace him. We did give away a defender. So, I mean, that is... We gave away uh, whatever his name was. We gave away... I mean, not defender. We gave away our good rookie. But, I mean, Semin, hopefully he does fit in a little better. Ah... Uh, Still need that uh, second line left. I mean, second line center. Defenders one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's good. Oh, who's gonna sit? I'm gonna say Zlicky. You're going to the minors. Up. Oh, never mind. Guess not. Ah. Uh, hmm. Campbell, you're gonna get the start. So we're gonna edit the lines. You're gonna get the start. We're gonna sim a few games, and we're gonna end this episode. Hmm. Uh, why is Gal got we need another forward uh, wait so we got three four centers four left wingers and four right all oh, Briers hurt so Yager's got to come up that's why I was saying well, like I was like why do we keep getting defenders in our uh, forward spot at lines so Galagoski I mean I'm, you're probably loving it in that second line spot wait where's Semin? Ah, this game. So, we do have enough forwards, but they just decided to put Goligoski and, uh, and Semin switched around. I mean, Semin would probably be amazing at defense. Oh, oh pfft, just kidding. He's like the worst defender ever. Semin, Ribeiro, Havla. That's a pretty good line. Oh, Zidlicki. You must love being forward as well. Uh, we'll switch these two. I mean, Yager and Eliash probably would have, like, good chemistry in real life. 
So I honestly think this is pretty good. I don't know how they're actually going to do uh, when we play games, we'll sim games, but we're going to put Campbell in a few games. We'll simulate five. Ah, so let's see. Oh, we'll just uh, sit Zidlicky, and then we'll be good to go. Yep, we're good. No, we're not good. Okay. Yager. Bowmeister. Uh, what is this? I think, that, yeah, it was penalty kill. Let's switch with Carter. And that's good. That's good. Martin. See, some of these things I'm just filling in quickly, but this is probably, I'm going to end it soon. I just want to simulate a few games. You know what? We're just going to simulate after this. We're going to play one game and see how we do. I'll slow simulate for you guys. So we got first period. We're going to sim a little bit fast. Not really fast, but let's see. Goal-wise, power play for them, and Carlson scores. Not very good at all. Uh, well, Ribeiro comes back. He's been... We might not have to trade him, actually. I was going to trade him, but we might trade Ray Eliash instead of him because... He's, he's got more points than uh, Spezza. Oh, power play? Nope. I mean, we're getting a lot of shots. We just got like eight shots in like a second. Well, a second in uh, the sim. Oh, Grabner. Come on. Power play. Come on, we have... Come on, are you serious? Oh, who's in their goalie? Who was their goal? Their goalie better been something spectacular. Crawford. Oh, my. How does Crawford play that good? I mean, Campbell definitely played better than Brodor in terms of uh, save percentage and goals against average, but Crawford making 37 of 38 saves, that makes no sense at all. If you're a Crawford fan, I'm sorry, but that doesn't make sense to me at all. But that's just me, probably. So we're going to end this episode starting off 7-7-1. Seven, seven, and one. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I... I didn't mean to in the beginning talk about the dislikes, but it's just been getting to me and a lot of other uh, YouTubers. I'm not going to say any other names, but I mean, we've been talking about it and we feel like it's, I mean, if you want to dislike our videos and you actually think that it's not good, go ahead, but please leave why it is. If you just don't like us, don't watch our videos. That's all, because if you don't like us, why are you watching our videos, honestly? I mean, I'm not, I'm not really a hateful person. I don't really talk behind people's back or like make fun of people or like, don't like reply to comments. A lot of people like a lot of people say I'm one of the nicest YouTube commentators. I'm not the funniest one. I'm not the most entertaining, but a lot of people say I'm the, like most uh most nice one and like friendly one and I'm pretty active. I'm like probably second or third for the NHL community besides Johnny. So I mean I think that's pretty good and hopefully you guys could like my video instead of disliking it. I mean hopefully it was just for the audio being behind because honestly that was pretty annoying that uh I got all those dislikes on my recent videos. I mean, it just makes my wanting to do the videos that much less on top of being sick. But I want to get this out there for you guys. Merry Christmas. Hope you guys enjoy this video. And I will catch you guys later.